Well, if you're tired of the summer heat, well, you just have to wait a little longer. You know, fall begins eight days from now, so it doesn't mean it's going to be turning magically cooler by September 22nd next Friday when fall comes in. But it does begin at 302, and I think although between now and the start of fall, the humidity is going to be going up, so it will be rather sticky out there. Not very fall-like, but temperatures may come down a bit in the afternoon because of some clouds by later in the weekend. 102, though, again tomorrow in Rio Grande City, about as hot as it was today, maybe one or two degrees cooler in some areas, but generally in the upper 90s and near 100 in Hidalgo County, about 98 in Wessico, 100 in McAllen, and mostly in the 90s in the lower valley, except for near 87 at the coast at South Padre Island. So temperatures not too much different than today. Across Texas, a lot of red on the map, and that means still more heat. It's still 105 in Del Rio and 102 right now in Midland, and even still 99 in Abilene. So plenty of hot stuff in Texas, and it's not really in a hurry to leave. Again, the only reason why it may get a little cooler for us by Sunday and Monday is because of some clouds and shower chances, but there's really not any cold fronts or any dry, kind of less humid weather returning again anytime soon. You look at the European model here, and here's what we have. Hot weather across Texas. This is the upper levels here, so this upper level high is kind of centered in Mexico, but will kind of meander around. But if it does get off to the east, that may at least get a little more of a tropical flow into the area to bring back the clouds. So that's what we're looking at here. For Friday, the upper level high is over us, keeping us hot and sunny. As we go into Saturday, still pretty much over us, but you notice it does get a little farther east by Sunday, and that circulation around it like this just starts to push a little bit more tropical moisture in. So if this holds true, we should start to see clouds thicken on Sunday, and it could be enough to get a couple showers here and there going. Even though if you look at the European model, it has almost no rain, but I think rainfall amounts somewhat light, but it may be a situation where we kind of just see more of a mostly cloudy day on Sunday where the clouds don't really break up too much in the morning, and then they kind of stay partly to mostly cloudy in the afternoon. So it could be enough moisture for a couple of showers here and there, but not expecting widespread heavy rain or anything like that. And as we go into the rest of the time, Tuesday and the Wednesday, you see it, that high doesn't move too much, so that could keep the clouds maybe locked in a bit at times through the most of the week ahead, which should keep the afternoons a little cooler. But again, we're talking maybe you know highs in the low to mid 90s in most areas instead of upper 90s and lower 100s, and with more warm and humid nights ahead. By later in the week, that upper level high is still off to the east. The model doesn't show a lot of rain, but again, maybe a few more clouds around and some spotty showers late in the week. So. Rain chances go from dry tomorrow and Saturday, we'll bump it up a little bit now to 20% for Sunday and Monday and about 10% Tuesday, Wednesday, and maybe as long as Thursday. But, you know, we just have to kind of see how much moisture is able to squeeze in there in, into the valley. I think the atmosphere will be set up in a way where it's still kind of capped, so we can't build up big rain, but we can maybe build the clouds a little bit to get a couple of showers here and there, but not heavy rain in any one spot. Now you look into the tropics here, still in hurricane season. In the Pacific now, we showed the Atlantic before. We have Hurricane Max about ready to move back right across the Mexican coast later tonight. We have also have Tropical Storm Norma, which is south of Cabo. And if you look at this, winds are at 45 miles per hour. But, you know, Cabo just had a tropical storm hit them back around Labor Day weekend. And here comes Norma, which could move right over Cabo again as maybe a weak hurricane or a strong tropical storm by the time we get to about Sunday night and Monday. So. Have to watch Norma again. Could be another uh, storm for Cabo San Lucas if you have any friends vacationing over there early next week or late this weekend. You want to give them a little heads up maybe. Yeah. Now, if you are going toward the coast here, temperatures in the 70s early in the morning, but mainly in the upper 80s during the daytime with winds from the southeast around 10 to 15 miles per hour, but plenty of sunshine and no advisories at the coast tomorrow. We see a high tide at 217 in the morning, a low tide uh, at 543 tomorrow evening. Hot weather begins your first 1570 forecast. Hot and sunny tomorrow. Dry for football plans this evening and tomorrow. That's good. And by the time we get to Saturday, more sunshine. But the clouds could thicken on Sunday and Monday. It may be a mostly cloudy day, and that could drive down temperatures several degrees and bring back at least a shower here and there. And that could last into the middle part of next week. So not widespread heavy rain, but maybe some isolated showers or brief showers now and then. So at least it's dry for football. That always puts a smile on Joel's face. Joel?